you do your lessons? Um, there's Barbados Squash Club, mm -hmm. which is um, like Marine Gardens on the south coast. Yes. Right. It's, um, yeah, it's just there behind the Pomerine Hotel. Oh, mm -hmm. right, absolutely. So, yep, so that's where I do all my teaching. Oh, great. Um, and that's where, you know, most of the training is is done for the national teams mm -hmm. that sort of thing so we actually don't have many facilities mm -hmm. we're dying to get some more public squash courts so this moment. is a plea basically oh yeah you we're can always, ask always okay. please yes please <laughs> <laughs> anybody we need some funding to get some public squash courts we really there are any um the defense force has a court the squash club has a court Great. Uh, has three courts, sorry, and then there's a court behind Wanderers Cricket Ground called mm -hmm. Pleasant Place, and yes. that, that's really the only courts we have right now. Mm -hmm. So we what we really need is like a public facility to get more squashes. Like we've got right. a lot of interest right, right. now, um, but unfortunately we don't have a lot of um, facilities for people. So do you do you go into the primary schools and and try to pull the young children uh, out? Well, what we have on right now, the national, you know, the National Sports Council. Right. I don't know they do a summer camp right. um, every year, and squash has been incorporated in it. Um, is this, this the first time? This is the second year. It was the in second it last year. year. Very so good. I was there this morning. We had about we have about twenty seven kids coming right. um, like every day, mm -hmm. which is um, it's fantastic. Twenty seven. Yeah, so, that's a great number. Yeah, a lot of them haven't played before. A few of them have. So it's, yeah, it's, but you, that means that you're getting a lot more people interested. Definitely. Absolutely. absolutely mm -hmm. Yeah, for Very sure. Good. So that's just great. All right, yeah. so what do we have going here then? All right, we've got some broccoli, um, onions, carrots, uh, mm -hmm. red cabbage. Probably do a little bit more of that. Gonna um, have that red cabbage. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I think that's enough. But yeah, great. so that's about a quarter of that. Um, yeah, so mm -hmm. we're just gonna. And basically, all we're gonna do is I'm gonna we're gonna chop up the chicken as well. Mm -hmm. and it's just, I'll have a board here for you for ah, the chicken. Brilliant, thank you. So I'm, and then just throw it all in. <laughs> that's how I like to cook. Throw it everything, <laughs> everything in one pot. Yeah, <laughs> much easier. Quick and easy. Yes, absolutely. Thanks. Well, you're going, you're going well, though. Doing all right, your yeah. Friend, your friend should be proud of you. Oh, <laughs> better have been. <laughs> Either that or highly amused, one or the other. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, we're just going to, I think. So, just put this into little strips now. Yeah, I'm probably going to. So, we're using a skinless, boneless chicken yeah, breast. Yeah, yes. Very right. And then just going to cut the chunks, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nothing How's the rice coming? Yeah, it's rice is looking good. That's okay. okay. So yeah, that's fine. Just you want to go like that or you want to Yep, I'm going to leave it. Um, actually, you could turn down a little bit for me. Sure. Thanks. Basmati rice, John, does it take longer to cook than most types of rice? Or I just about the same time? I think it takes about the same time frame, but I find it has a more fragrant flavor. It does, right? Yeah, me too. I, I, enjoy, I enjoy a lot more than regular converted rice. You don't really even have to add any spices to basmati rice. You just put salt and that's about it and you just go. You can, yeah. Right. I tend to add spices to mine. Okay. Um, but you, you, you certainly can. Mm -hmm. But it's a really it's a really nice rice. Really, really nice. Okay. So how are we looking now? I think we're good to go. I'm just going to... Uh, all right, I'm going to rinse off my hands. Sure. Right. Chicken, chicken, chicken. All right, while she's taking a little rinse there, getting all cleaned up, we're going to go to commercial break and be back right after this. I heard so much about it and the prices. I was forced to come through the rain and all. Good prices. Good prices is the pocket that's there now. There's the prices that are going up. Prices is very, very good. I think it's something that we, we long needed up here. It really lives up to its name. I'm sure that you will get some support from me. After you finish shopping, you can see the benefit in the basket and the pocket. Then I hear that this was open, I said, thank God. Welcome back everyone, we're here with Karen Meekin. She's playing for the Little Pink Gift Foundation, which is a breast cancer awareness organization. And you can vote for Karen by texting K-A-R-E-N to short code 2216. She's here making a chicken stir fry, but with a little difference. It's basmati rice that she's using, so I can't wait to try this out. <laughs> what do we have next? We're gonna put some oil. All right, we're gonna put some oil in, okay. in the wok. Sure. Yeah. Here you are, Great. Sir Robinson. Thank you very much. You want to raise up? You want to walk to nice and hot? Yeah, is it? Is it yeah, it's on, on, it's on. on. Want me to bring it up? Turn it up some more. Yeah, it's so so got our fancy walk. Ooh, very nice. That's great, this is. Yeah, you can put one of these in your kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> cook <laughs> a bit is, more. My kitchen is way too small. <laughs> <laughs> Another reason not to cook, you know? So, that's my excuse anyway. Okay, might well put a little bit too much oil in there, but. Yeah, nice and hot, yeah. It'll be alright, I guess. All right, so I'm going to put in the onions and the carrots first. Okay. To get these going, because I find they'll take a little bit longer. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks. 
So Karen, you've recently played against the world number one. Yes, I said. did. What wow. was that? I saw it was, it was amazing. It was, yeah, but that was probably one of the highlights of my squash career. Really? Yeah, it was. It was Have you ever played anyone on that level before? No, never, no, nowhere near that. No? No, it was just, it was, it was great. It was, it was so good and she, she gave me like a really, really nice game. Yeah. Did you, beat, did you beat her, Karen? Uh, no, I didn't win a game, though. You, you won a game? Oh, that's I, think, good. I think she was being nice, but <laughs> oh, okay. I still was happy with my game. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Where is she from? She's from Malaysia. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, she's been number one in the world for about five years. In the Fantastic. world. Fantastic. She's really, really good. Like, wow. She's a lovely, lovely person. A great wow. ambassador for our sport. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, really excellent. So that was a lot of fun. I was sore for about four days after <laughs> that match. I ran like mad. Yeah. And where, yeah. where did that happen in Barbados? Yes. Yeah. Okay. They, she came here for like a couple of days and mm -hmm. did some junior clinics. And, sure. And then did an exhibition with me and also our number one guy. Yeah. How so, did she play against the guy? Yeah, good too. Yeah, she beat him too. She he, beat him too. Yeah. <laughs> wow. She's very good. Who is that? Uh, that? His name is Sean Simpson. Sean Simpson. Yeah. yeah. Don't so, worry about it, Sean. Sean. Oh, also you would know Sean from volleyball. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Right. Of course. So. Very, very talented. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, great squash player, that height as well. Yeah. So, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. So, you're, it's a better, it's advantageous for one to be tall when you're playing squash. Yeah, I think so. Especially okay. in the women's game. Especially, okay. especially you know, because a lot of women obviously aren't tall. Mm -hmm. So, it work, works well for me anyway. Okay. So I don't have a chance then as a male. I don't Aww. have a chance. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you could be all right. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. <laughs> as your trainer, I think you will be There you playing. go, yeah, there you go. You can do wonders, okay. Let me try. So we just get these nice and brown. Yeah, just get these brown off, and mm -hmm. then I'm going to put in, actually, I'll probably turn it down a little bit. Yeah, you got it. So you're professional, you know the operator still there. Um, not really. <laughs> I think I'm covering it. Yeah, looking good. Looking good. All right, so I'm going to put in the chicken now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just throw the chicken in. Chicken. And you know chicken rules, chicken is king. Chicken rules. Oh yes, chicken does rule, absolutely. Okay, so we can just pull that in. That's looking tasty already. And I'm going to add um, probably some black pepper and some salt. Black yeah. pepper and salt? Yep, I'm going to put that in with this. <coughs> but John, for someone who doesn't cook very often, She's more she like a seems professional. to know what's really know what going she's on. Doing. I, I think it's that confidence she has as a squash player. <laughs> I think that's what it is. That's I coming out in what she's doing here. Happening. Oh, Speaking yeah, of good. that, is it, has, has there ever been a time when you went to play that you were nervous, that you were scared, that you thought you know you couldn't handle this kind of competition? Often, often, often. Really? Yeah, I used to suffer from nerves a lot. Really? Um, but as I've got, let me leave it there, I think. Um, as I've got older, mm -hmm. um, a little more experience, you just find different ways to deal with it. Like for me, like last year, I last year I had my like my best ever year in squash. Mm -hmm. I had just this amazing year. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of my warm-up techniques was that I would put on my iPod and just actually while I was knocking up. I think that works a lot. Yeah, yeah. at the beginning of a match, you get like a five-minute warm-up. Yeah. So I would just um, put that on and play mm -hmm. it. And I always play the same song, The Greatest Day If I Take That. <laughs> and um, it just relaxed me and really helped me a lot with my nerves. How long have you been playing as well? Ooh, very long. <laughs> Since 29 years almost. Started playing wow. when I was 10. Really? And I'll okay. be 39 in a couple of weeks, so. Wow. Yeah, long time. Well, happy birthday in advance. Why, thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. So, yeah. You have any big tournaments coming up? Uh, you well, you just the one, the one in Cayman, okay, the Caribbean the Championships. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this year, like last year was a really busy year. Mm -hmm. We had like um, Central American and Caribbean Games. Right. Which only comes around every four years. Um, the World Masters, which I played Where was that in. Played? The, that was in Colombia. Okay. And then I went to the World Masters. Mm -hmm. um, that was in Germany, but mm -hmm. that's only every two years. Um, every two years? Yeah, the World Masters. Wow, so you have to win well then. That's well, good. yeah, so that'll be next year again. So but that was where I had my best results. So right. Went all the way to the final, which was nice. Mm -hmm. so, Very good. Yeah. Looking good. Looking good, yeah, we're doing all right. And this chicken was very lean, so it yeah, should be able to cook up quickly. Yeah, cook, yeah let's make sure it's cooked through. That's looking very tasty. Wow. All right, isn't it? Wow. We can start cheering for you. So where did you, where did you learn this dish, Karen? <laughs> where did I, sorry? Where did you learn this dish? Um, this is just something I kind of made up. Oh, OK. <laughs> I like, if I cook, I like, if I like to cook, um, I'm going to put this in now. I either cook pasta mm -hmm. yeah. or like, or I like stir fries. I love vegetables. I love chicken. Right. So I would just, you know, just stir fry anything, any vegetables with chicken. And it's a quick and easy dish. Right. Yeah, right, often yeah. I don't have a lot of time. And tasty and, um, as well. Yeah, exactly. But did you guys hear that? Karen Meekins loves 
chicken. So if you want to be sure fit does. and healthy like Karen, Yay. you need to eat your chicken. You see what the red cabbage does though, John? It's really pretty. Oh, nice, this oh no, we see what the rice. Did I burn it or not? No, it's got a little liquid here. Excellent, okay. That, if all the water is boiled away, I would just... Um, yeah, most, most of it's gone. Take that off and just... It's a little we crunchy. It's a little bit crunchy. I'll cover it. Yikes, thank you. All right, my secret ingredient mm -hmm. is honey. It's honey. Honey. Because I have a Wonderful. very sweet tooth. This is number one. very different. And I just, I don't know, I just like the flavor that the honey gives it. Nice. John, I'm seeing the originality point start to go up a little bit yeah, there. Honey, yeah, honey, yeah. I just give it a little flavor, a different flavor. Yeah. So. You want me to help you stir? Sure, you go ahead. Thank you, that's great. Very nice. That looks good. Karen, that's very nice. It's pretty good. Yeah. I think your friends are going to be proud of you. Thank God. <laughs> but you can smell your honey too. It's yeah. really different. It just and gives it a little a different kind of a taste. Enough. Yeah. Yeah, and it makes it, it just gives it a little sweet flavor, I guess. Yeah, very interesting. Thanks. So, trial and error. I don't really cook a lot, but because I do have a sweet tooth. Right. You said, why not add honey? Yeah. And so it works out for you. And it, yeah, and it tastes, mm -hmm. it tastes really good. So. Well, we'll see next time if John has in his in lanterns by John Hazard if he's <laughs> gonna have a chicken stir fry with ah, honey. With honey. <laughs> can, I, can, I, can I taste Still, it, Karen? Yeah, yeah, yeah I think I think we'll probably just with a honey flavor on there. I gotta get a bit of chicken. Yeah, tell me. Mmm. 